Hey guys, welcome back. Build a big with City Skylines. This is episode 23. I'm Enigmius. Today, sweeping changes. You won't necessarily know just by looking at it because most of the city still looks the same, but we've made a lot of changes. We're going to go over them in detail so that the next episode we can start doing some zoning and some regular kind of gameplay stuff. Uh, a number of things were uh, changed with regards to this area here. You can see, first of all, that the terrain has been raised around the outer edge. Now, I did this with a terraforming mod. Very, very simple, very expensive to use in terms of in-game currency, which is fine because we're removing a lot of earth. And the whole idea was just kind of elevate the outer perimeter here so that it's not so prone to flooding and kind of spilling over these areas back here, rendering them unusable. Did a nice job for that. I also dredged this area down here, which is to say I excavated, so to speak, a bunch of earth and part of the river as well to try and lower the water level because again hydroelectric dams the power they generate is a function of the height of the water on the back side of the dam and how low the water is on the front side of the dam the bigger the difference between the two the more power it generates and then in support of that to try and further increase the height of the water on the back side i set up a couple of sewage treatment plants that uh, their outflow goes into this area here and actually does raise the height of the water slightly. Uh, there is a little bit of poo left in the water and that's why it's slowly turning uh, a poo kind of color, but there's not much we can do about that. The, the dam doesn't seem to care. The dam doesn't give a damn, so we're okay there. It's performing a little bit better than it was. It, you, I click on it when it's paused at a very low value. It fluctuates all the time, but it goes up to a higher value than it was previously. So we're okay there. It's it's not performing nearly as well as it's capable of if I had kind of done a little bit uh, uh, better planning. But for now, it's, it's producing. So we're just going to leave it. I also uh, took another step towards resolving our traffic issues in this part of our city, the uh, industrial area. Uh, I've spent a lot of time kind of with the game paused and then unpausing and watching where the traffic is going and what's going on. And I realized that a large part of what was happening is related to traffic coming down from here and coming around from here and all these different places where traffic comes along this low side and then it wants to turn off and go up and service these different buildings here, picking things up, dropping things off, whatever. But the difference is, or the difficulty I should say, is to say this uh, green truck kind of tucked in behind here wants to go up this way all the way to here he's in the same queue with all the other trucks that maybe just want to kind of go up here all of the trucks have to work out of this way here or at least used to by splitting that by putting another wide lane through here it makes it possible for trucks to come up this way if they just want to go that way they can go that way and if they just want to go uh you know to this spot here they can do that as well perhaps the only difficulty now is that by setting this up here the traffic can go either way from this central location so at times it seems like they favor that but you can see here there's still a little bit of a backup but it clears uh completely for the most part when it when it does back up the next time it has a chance to go it clears that backlog it doesn't sit there backlog permanently there's a few things that we could do to uh tweak this area a little bit but we'll worry about that later this i mean we could spend days just tweaking the traffic in this one area of our town. The other thing I want to show you uh, that made a big, big difference is I went through, I basically deleted all of the bus routes that we had and I did them new. I took my time, I did them properly. So now every street that has a bus route basically has uh, two bus routes on it. It has one going one direction and then another going in the other direction. That's how they're laid out in my part of the world. Where you want to go dictates what side of the street you stand on when you're waiting for the bus, basically is how it works. So that's what I did here. So people don't necessarily have to cross the street to get to the bus. The coverage is much better. It's easier at a glance to see whether or not I've got adequate coverage for the transit area. Because if I do, you'll see two bus roads in opposite directions on the major roads that are, that are carrying buses. And then I, I did that same thing over the entire city even up in here with some crazy loops around the, the traffic circles and all these other things so all this area of the city has been completely redone with the transit it's got transit going in both directions people are much happier i also upgraded the metro system because we were expanding out in this direction here and i wanted to make sure that we had uh, metro coverage there we're gonna have to expand some into here 
Uh, we'll look at this and the other area momentarily. We've been busy. Been busy. Just kind of overhauling things that maybe could have been working better uh, and getting some great results out of it. Look at our residential, our high density residential area now. It's uh, it's in really good shape. It's, I'm really, really happy with the way it's turning out. We're, we're maximizing the potential in the areas where we have the potential to grow things big and tall uh, just by kind of reviewing things from time to time and, and like I say, fixing things that weren't working and, and uh, doing our best to improve things that were working okay but not as well as they could be. Oh, the building is going up in flames. We've got uh, perfectly adequate fire coverage, however, in this part of the city, so... It, 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 there'll just be multiple fatalities, but the building, see, the building's already fine. It's already been rebuilt. We can bring in another crew of people to fill it up. It's no problem at all. We've handled the dust problem. Not enough room for our dead. We've handled the garbage problem. Not enough room for our garbage. Everything is, is functioning really, really well, which brings us to the, the two main additions. And I set these up because the traffic and getting the road set up just to add a new area is so finicky, and I feel kind of like it's a waste of time to make you guys sit through like 10 minutes of just trying to pull a road that it doesn't fit then pull it in another direction that doesn't fit so i'm skipping that if it bothers you that i'm skipping sections feel free to leave a comment let me know and we'll try and work out what's going to make people happiest but i think if i can pull out the repetitious kind of derping around getting things just the basics set up that it'll work better in the long run people will be more entertained with what's actually going on so we've got this area just barely started so that next episode we can expand it a bit and the same thing over here but over here basically what i've done is i've set up our train our cargo train because this is an industrial area and i want to do whatever we can from the beginning to offset uh the number of vehicles that need to be on the road you can see the trains are running well we've got a couple of overflow lanes that do see occasional use um we've also got uh a fairly wide road system already set up and working these are zoned for forestry if we take a look here no no wonder these guys aren't forestry look at that see we're just gonna extend that up here and then those guys will change over to forestry and it'll cut down i think on a little bit of the pollution there we go so this here is, is uh, designated as a district for forestry, and this is a designated as a district for oil because if we look here, you can see this is oil <laughs> and this is forest. I mean, the green is kind of a dead giveaway, but we're going to start up in the next episode setting up our oil industry because I'd like to get that done. We're going to have to trim off a bit of the train tracks, I think. Uh, but that's okay. We'll still have room for it to function the way it needs to function. But uh, we're going to have oil in them, our hills, and it'll be fantastic. So there's that setting up of the districts to support what we're trying to do over here. And now these guys, yeah, they've already converted. They've already made the conversion. There used to be a factory here that made fish sticks, apparently. And now uh, we're getting the, uh, the forestry, the tree farms and stuff in a place. But the pollution from where those guys were is kind of wrecking the tree farms. See that? They're nice and lush tree farms down here and here where we didn't zone it properly and we had the dirty industry it's it's kind of taken a toll so it the good to note good to note i suspect that this pollution will go away after a period of time at least i hope it will uh and already this we, we kind of caught it before it got too bad so that's that's okay now over here i wanted to set up another high density residential slash uh high density commercial area because we've got this big area here it's kind of the smaller single family houses it's it's a low profile kind of thing and then we've got the big skyscrapers over there and then we've got the big office towers over here i kind of wanted a, a big city looking section over in this area as well but i didn't want everything sort of like all the residential in one area and all the commercial in another that was not really what i was looking for so we've begun the process of allowing that to happen down here with high high density residential uh surrounded right now with high high density commercial and it's it's already springing up and looking good we've got schools in place we've got a park uh i think we've actually got two parks oh we've got this giant park over here we've got fire and police we've got basically everything that they need to get a really good running start at this and also expanded the transit in this area of course to support that as well it's it's four lane roads and being serviced by the highways running by and you can see this highway i pulled all the way down here and this loop we can change later when we get to that point. I even marked it 
as this is like the little cut here kind of symbol to say when it comes time to expand in this direction cut the highway here and then fix it because this is just a loop so that the, the traffic has somewhere to go so the population is up a little bit from the last episode our uh, money is up considerably despite the fact that we spent like i say uh, about three hundred thousand dollars on this area in here oh there's one more thing that we have to do before we go I promised you guys that I was going to wait until I did the uh, the episode to do this. We're going to place our first solar power plant. And we're going to kind of put it up here and then off to the side as far as we can go. And that's that's our solar power plant ready to go. So we're not going to be too worried about power for a little while, which is kind of nice. We'll be able to uh, sit down the next episode. Like I say, we're going to focus on setting up our oil industry in this area. We're going to take a look at what's happening with the forestry uh, relative to our demand. And we're going to take uh, another look at this area here. And if we need to expand residential or commercial, this is where we're going to do it. So, like I said, there's a lot going on. Leave your feedback on the abbreviated um, format that I'm doing. Doing a lot of stuff behind and then just kind of doing an overview. I know we didn't actually do anything real time this episode except for plant the solar power plant. It's just because there was so much going on. Didn't really have a chance to do anything real time. Next episode, you'll see a little bit more real time. And let me know if the format works for you. If you feel I'm leaving too much out, you're having a hard time following, let me know. And if you feel that's great, then by all means, let me know too. And we'll do what we can to kind of tailor things a little bit. There's still some wiggle room in the format uh, based on what you guys are finding. So if you want to be notified when I add uh, future videos to this or other series, of course, you can always subscribe to my channel or follow me on social media. Links for social media are always in the information section below the video. Leave those comments and feedback. Thanks for watching, guys, and take care.